Hello there. In this video, we are going to see how to set up a PowerShell terminal with my Posh and PS3 line. Uh, as always, I have written a blog post about it, um, and the blog post has a link to my Posh uh, website. You can just come here and then check out the documentation yourself, um, or you can follow along the blog post. So the first step is to open the uh, terminal as uh, administrator so I have my terminal opened here uh, if you look at it uh, it's, um, it's a um, pretty basic uh, Windows terminal um, and uh, we are going to install on my posh and on my posh has these really cool themes um, and we can use those themes in our uh, terminal so the first step is installing on my posh so I have this command uh, I'm actually installing it for all users if you want to just uh, install it to the current user just uh, choose current users so I'm copying and then I'm pasting this command. Um, I already have um, all my push installed. I think it is an older version. Yes, I have 5.6.4, so I will update the all my push. It will take some time to um, get the update from the PS gallery. Um, just give it a time. It also depends on your um, internet speed. So Okay, now the module is updated. The next step is to install NerdFont. So we are looking for Mellow LGM NF. Uh, you can find that uh, in this website. Uh, you can actually download the zip file directly from here. Um, so it will download. You can actually open it and then uh, extract the file here and the first step is to install the fonts in your operating system now I have uh, Windows 11 running so just go to settings um, uh, font search for font font settings so um, you have to drag and drop the font so just copy all and then uh, drag and drop. I already did it, it already installed, so if, even if you put it all, you can actually replace it. I will say no. So once you installed, then the fonts will be available in your machine. And once that is available, next step is to install the font as a default font. So go to, um, go to the arrow button here, and then settings and then open json file that will open the uh, settings.json um, so in the settings.json you will have a bunch of actions and there is a default so you can actually have multiple profiles there is a profile for powershell 
there's a profile for uh, command line but you can also specify a default so I have already specified a starting directory as my github directory now we will also add another default which is our um, yeah which is our font face so let's add that so once we have add that uh, you can actually open new PowerShell and you will see that the font will change and now we can um, look for themes so to check the themes you just type get Porsche themes and it will display all the themes so one important thing you have to remember um, is I would say so let's say um, you didn't install the fonts properly these um, these gifs uh, these um, arrows all these things will usually not work so uh, if you have any problems um, maybe I can show so if you remove this line here and um, and come back and do the get all my push points so you can see here um, in the there is boxes there is a lot of boxes that means the fonts are not properly set um, to, to this usually happens when you forget to set the fonts so make sure you set the fonts and then everything shows up actually really perfectly well mm. okay so now they say to change the fonts you just say set posh prompts team so we just try it so we already tried it and the themes work so uh, to now if you open a new prompt it's still empty so we have to create a profile for the prompt so that every time the PowerShell opens this theme is set so um, to set the profile just type notepad.exe with dollar profile and we will open everything we will open the profile in the notepad and in the profile we set we import the module yeah so this is this is the import module command we will import the module on my posh and then set prompt and this is the prompt theme I'm choosing power level 10k rainbow so first copy this and then paste it so and now we can close this so I can close this and then now create a new prompt see the prompt is now perfectly available for us um, this um, this symbol indicates we are actually in the admin rights section so you see the PowerShell has the administrator privileges um, next is to install PS readline and PowerShell get PowerShell get is a package manager for PowerShell um, so to um, install the PowerShell get before that you need to install NuGet um, and then you can install the PowerShell get uh, since I have done both of these I will skip it uh, then you will come and install the PS readline uh, PS readline has just released uh, the um, 
beta version which is beta wait a second where is the releases for the powershell yes uh if you go and check the powershell gallery maybe powershell get um yes so if you go to powershell get and then search for ps read line you will see ps read line the current version is beta 3 so only in beta 3 we have the uh, options for prediction so we need beta 3 so if you miss this um, allow pre-release this is important so make sure you don't forget this allow pre-release for the predictions to happen so if you don't want the predictions to happen uh, just skip that um, so uh, just copy this and paste it okay now we have um ps3 line installed now open the notepad notepad uh, the, open the profile again and add these configs so what does this config do so the config the first line is it imports the ps3 line now the prediction only works for the windows um, edit mode so i just specifically set the edit mode as windows and the prediction will happen from the history so every command you type in um, uh, in the powershell is stored in the history and the predictions will happen from the history and then now we are setting the prediction style as list view and inline view so at the time only one can be viewed but we can swap between these list view and inline view um, when we press f2 i will show it um, and then what happens when you press tab when you press tab it will complete the command you are typing if the command is available and then this is for uh, up arrow key and down arrow key. It will search the histories. And, and uh, if these are some configs which I copied from this file here. This is the sample PowerShell uh, PS read line file. So if you see he's using um, Emacs, I, I copied. Right. Um, so instead of um, so I copied the import tree line. I instead of using Emacs, I'm using Windows. Yeah, so uh, there is also quite a few um, other options here. Like if you press F7, it will show the history command. And then there is a build current directory command. So that is mapped to control B. You can actually do quite a more quite more stuff with this so just go and explore this file and then copy over all the configuration you need in your powershell uh, and then it will save some time for you okay and uh, for me this simple configuration is enough i will copy this and then i will go to my notepad I will now now I have uh, pasted that and now close it. So now if I reopen the PowerShell again, I can have predictions. See, um, CD. So there are some predictions. Now if I press F2 and then type again, uh, CD. So see, this comes from the history but the view is a list view and you press f2 again and then the list is uh, inline view so you can switch between the uh, views by pressing f2 um, and yeah if you type 
.NET, you see all the .NET commands and you can come down and choose those things and if I press F2 and then press tab or uh, sorry uh, press right to finish the command yeah so this is how the current um, predictions work this is still a work in progress um, yeah you can give it a try and then give the feedback uh, in the partial ps read line repo um, and what else yeah and also explore these uh, ps3 line key handlers and there are quite a few examples on how to configure the key handlers so if you don't want too much things happening just um, go back uh, and then just take off all these things just I j now it's just going to be predictions uh, if the import uh, ps read line command and um, and, uh, and then you can say clear it still works and you can choose the things if you want so yeah perfect um, and for the mm, all my posh um, you have to go and check out the documentation there in the um, all my posh uh, website uh, it has so many themes um, uh, and so much configuration you can actually add Azure configuration uh, you can actually add battery configuration this will be really helpful if you are using the uh, laptop and environment variable configuration so these things can be configured uh, in a quite robust way uh, go and check out the Omi oh Posh documentation and uh, go and check out the uh, sample PS3 line file to customize the terminal even more. Um, I have links um, in the blog post and I will leave the link of the blog post in the description of the video. And that's pretty much it for this video. Maybe see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.